So today I'm going to pour LB plates onto these 60 millimeter Petri dishes. Um, first of all, you get a sleeve of LB uh, of Petri dishes, and each Petri dish holds about 10 mils. So if you have about 300 mils of LB auger that's already autoclaved, then it'll, it'll, you can pour about 30 plates. Each sleeve holds about 20 plates. So first of all, what you do is that you cut it as close to the top as possible so that there's room uh, on these sleeves. And we're going to reuse these sleeves. Then you slowly uh, tip it over and get all the uh, plates out of the sleeves themselves. And hopefully um, you don't make any, uh, you don't topple any of them. So once you have the sleeve off, then I like to separate them into sets of four. So then you have five piles of four plates. And what we do in Baybeck is that LB auger plates have a black mark. So I have a black Sharpie here. And what I do is just take it to the edge and then just mark off the lid so that have one black line. This is our marking system. And you notice that I have a lot of plates here just in case um, I pour a lot of plates. Okay, so once that's ready, what I like to do is I have about a hundred mils of LB auger here. And I like to actually spray my bottle um, with ethanol first, just to make sure that, you know, the whole thing is relatively clean. And this is actually a clean paper towel that I also spray. And I do this so that it prevents drips on the side. And, uh, you know, notice we're not flaming, we're not putting it in a hood. Um, and the whole idea is that you pour quickly. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take a stack of four and remove the last lid first and then work my way to the top. Okay. So I don't know if you can see this. And I just pour enough so it covers the bottom of the dish. and I moved in the next round. And notice once you've poured a stack, you can't move it quickly out of the way. You have to move it more gingerly so that you're not splashing any LB auger onto the top of the uh, dish. If you do that, then you're forming a way for microbes to get into your dish. And you know, people, the, all the microbes love LB auger, so they can grow into it very easily. And notice my bottle is starting to drip. So what I can do then is to turn my bottle so it gets to a cleaner part of the bottle itself. So I, I avoid drips. Oops, so that one's already been poured. really close to the end of my bottle here. Oops, you notice that there was hardly any left for this last dish. So you have to be careful and, and try to not waste a dish. You know, in Baybeck we are resourceful, we try not to waste things. So this is not actually a good weight good use of your dish because you can't use much of it. Once it's going to gel, then it creates a barrier, a, a separation if you're going to pour another set of LB auger in it. So it's pretty much a wasted dish, okay? So try not to do that. So once uh, these plates are poured, you can slowly set them aside and notice how slowly I'm pushing it with my other dishes. 
And again, you don't want to splash any onto the lid of your Petri dish. And then now it's just going to sit at this location for two days, or uh, one to two days, until it dries out a bit. Because notice that you, there's a lot of condensation on top of these um, Petri dishes, and that's also not a good thing. Um, so our next up, we will be pouring our LB auger and adding ampicillin to it.